Good evening, surprise, it is Amy. Thank you for the warm welcome. I've missed you too. Say hello, Bato. Say hello, is he your favorite? Look at him go, look at this amazing boy. You think he's growing that fast? I don't know, I haven't seen him in a few days and yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, I do see it. Yeah, he's definitely getting to be a, a big boy. Oh, oh, he looks amazing. If you think back from the day that we received and took Balto in our organization as an owner surrender, as a tiny puppy, do you remember, really think hard, he could barely get his back end off the ground? Everybody was, oh my God, the poor thing. Oh, please don't euthanize him. Please give him a chance. He deserves a chance. Well, guess what? We have done everything. We've gone through MRIs and the doctor said, you know, and I love this doctor. I respect him so much. And he said, you know, I said, what are our options? And he said, well, I don't really know what kind of quality he's going to have. So, you know, euthanasia is not a bad thing. And Shelly and I, I will never forget that day. Like it was, it's in, engraved in my brain and in my heart. And when I talk about it, it makes my wife, Carol, extremely angry and upset <clears throat> that it was even mentioned. Um, but we both were so quiet on the way home. And he had just received sedation and an MRI to determine that he did have hydrocephalus of the brain. Um, and the treatment plan was either, you do remember, right? Uh, you, it was the treatment plan was uh, prednisone. They were talking about a shunt and they decided to start with prednisone. So we continued with the prednisone and he's still on a half of a pill in the morning and the evening. And as he's growing, his body is basically ridding itself of the prednisone. So it's very little. Uh, but he is amazing. He is happy and he walks on all fours and he eats and he plays and he's just He loves water. He loves people uh, The thing with other dogs. It's not that he's not dog friendly. It's just that it's so over stimulating for his brain, which it makes him crazy um, He doesn't know boundaries. So he's just all over the other dog and, you know, we don't even have him. When we took him in, we had no room. All of our rooms were full. And we made a room for him, a space with a big round plastic baby pen in our lobby. As we were just talking a few minutes ago about getting rid of our leather sofa so that we would have more room in the lobby because we're so limited and we are so full. Um, but we have him in a big round pen with soft I just ordered memory foam like bath mats that are waterproof and they're um, non-slid so he won't slide all over the place and he just sits and entertains himself sits and entertains himself he's such a good boy and he deserves a loving home there's no reason why he can't find a forever home it just has to be that right home He's not a lot of work. He's really not. And medical, there's no cost. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's food. He eats dry food in a maize bowl, so it slows him down. Sorry, I'm just following him around, so. Um, but he's absolutely nothing but love. He doesn't need a shunt. The doctor said absolutely not. There's no reason for it. Uh, this is working, and this is how it's going to be. 
we're so grateful for the condition he is in, that he is walking. Look at him. I mean, he walks on all fours. He's walking so amazing. Yes, I put the link on this video to vote. You know, I post it every morning. I post it every night. I get very, very few comments on the um, vote for Balto post. And I'm always like, hello, are you with us? Can you see us? Say something. And I might get five or 10 or 15. And there's over 300,000 people on our rescue page. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do a live video because there's 893 people watching right now. And I figured what a great way to put the link so that I'm asking everybody to please, when I shut down this video, to please take a second, go back and hit that, hit that, that link and vote for Balto. It costs you nothing. Um, the bottom click to vote is free. So if you vote, we're in first place right now. I think we dropped to fourth, but I think we might be back to first. And it's $5,000. And just think what we can do as an organization with $5,000 to put towards medical costs for saving a life or one of our existing critical cases that need us. So it's a no brainer, guys. We need you. I'm asking all of you to please take a second out of your night. And please, 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 thank you in advance and go back and vote for Balto. We have another. Um, contest we entered Balto in as well. I did it last night um, and that will be coming up as well. That's a hero award on the Hallmark channel. Uh, so we'll, we'll bring that up when it, when it comes time to, I don't know if that's a voting thing or what, but I entered him into a contest. But right now I need you to all hit that vote button tonight while I have all of you here. The, the link is on this video. So when I shut down this video, you're gonna go out, you're gonna come back, and you're gonna hit that link. And the link is on our page. If you scroll our 100 plus page, that link is on our page morning and night. I'm, I've been sharing it clockwork, even on our alumni page, and I've been sharing it on my personal page. So, I wanted to do, <laughs> I wanted, yes, the Hallmark Channel. Hi, Susan Asowich, hi everybody. Um, I wanted to do a couple of live videos this evening. I was able to break away from my home. I know uh, Tiffany had mentioned to all of you that, um, yeah, I need foster homes. I need foster homes desperately. If anybody can foster and you are local, please, we have two full rescue houses. Two. And again, how do you vote? How do I vote? You vote with the link. It's on our page every day and it's on this video. So when I shut down, no, it's not a dollar. It's no, it doesn't cost a thing. I vote every day. There's no money, no money. Just hit the vote button on the, it's two vote buttons. There's a top and a bottom and you vote on the bottom. You don't have to, you don't have to pay anything. Um, but I wanted to do this video update and I have another update I would like to do for you, which once I shut down, I'll come back in about five minutes. But um, I wanted to also say thank you to everyone for all your love and prayers for our personal dog, Maggie. Uh, Carol and I are 100 plus rescue Maggie. She's about 11 years of age and she went through major surgery. Um, we were just devastated. We were just a mess, as you know, that those are our children. Uh, so Maggie went through major surgery, our personal dog, and had a massive tumor removed from her lung and a lung lobe. So she's home now wearing a 100 plus rescue t-shirt <clears throat> on her big cushy bed. Carol's home with her now. So I was able to uh, slip away and come to the rescue house and do a couple of updates. We love you too. Thank you. And thank you in advance for your vote. You are making me dizzy, Balto. <laughs> you are making me so dizzy. Yes, you are. Come on. Show everybody how you run. Come on, run, run, run. Run, run, run. Do it, Balto. Do it. Do it, Balto. Where'd everybody go? We lost our audience, Balto. Where did everybody go? Look at him on all fours. So I'm gonna flip it on me for just a minute just to say hello, cause I've missed all of you so, so much. Hello, hello. Wilbur's great. Um, he heard my voice coming into the rescue house. He didn't even come out from under his comforter and didn't even pick up his head to look at me. So, so much for missing Mama Amy, uh, but I did. I've missed you guys so much, it's so weird. It's so weird not doing video after video after video, but I want to say thank you to my amazing team. Uh, 
just so grateful that I have such an amazing team to pick up and keep keep everything running and going. Uh, thank you, Tiffany, so much. Um, she ran for me yesterday and picked up uh, our newest baby, Carly. And also, I cannot even put into words how grateful I am for Shelly and Keith. Um, they've been really unbelievable, those two. Like, we hit the jackpot with them. I adore them beyond words. They have been covering the house, both houses back and forth, um, staying back so that I could take care of our personal dog, Maggie. So I'm so, so, so grateful to Shelly and Keith and to my amazing 100 plus team, to all my volunteers um, that have been coming and doing the night shifts, uh, Darla and Laura and Colleen and, um, my God, it's just every night, you know, the house needs to be covered. And Tammy and Jan and Pammy, um, everybody that's been coming here, and Lori that's been helping out with covering the houses. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Balto? Um, just to keep everything going so that I can stay home and be with Maggie because she really, she really needs me. So... He is so good, Shell. He's so good. He's running over there with Shelly. Um, yeah, so that's basically part of why I wanted to do this first video. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, Shelly's going to bring out my next surprise. So I'm going to shut this video down. I'm going to ask everybody to go back and vote for Balto. There's over 800 people. And I'm going to be back up and running in like three to five minutes. So get the vote in and then I'm going to come back live. Okay. I'll see you guys in just a few. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. If you can foster, please email me at 100 P L U S abandoned dogs at gmail.com. I'll be back in just a bit.